You like to work in Adobe Lightroom, but you're annoyed that you cannot upload your RAW files directly into the Adobe Cloud? There is a little trick. I want to upload all my RAW files into the Adobe Cloud. And I want my organization, I worked so hard and long for, I want to have it also reflected in the Adobe Cloud. I totally, totally like that I have all my pictures on my fingertips, in my iPhone or on my iPad. I'm traveling a lot. I don't want to carry around um, drives, hard drives or flash drives uh, all the time. Wherever I am in the world, I have access to all of my raw photos. I'm a big fan of new software. So when in 2007 Lightroom first came to the market, I immediately bought it and tried it out and I used it ever since. For a few years now, for about five years now, we have Lightroom, let's call it just Lightroom. It's weird with the names. Uh, the old Lightroom they call Classic, the new Lightroom it used to be called Lightroom CC, now it's just, just Lightroom. So let's just talk about Lightroom Classic and Lightroom or the new Lightroom. When the new Lightroom came out, I immediately wanted to switch because I like new software. I'm always curious to figure out new stuff. Then I bought a LoopTech CT console, which helps me doing my post-production on my photos. And I really, really like it because I have those little wheels for manipulating aperture or saturation or other grading. So Lightroom Classic has an SDK for external import devices like the LoopTech CT, which Lightroom, the new Lightroom does not have that. So the moment I bought the LoopTech CT, I had to go back to my Lightroom Classic. I only have one catalog and I have all these raw files now on my local computer, on my local drive, on my system drive of my laptop. It's about one terabyte of data. But I want to have this one terabyte not only on my laptop, I want it up in the cloud. One problem of Classic is that it only uploads what it's, what it's called smart previews. So now how to upload all the raw files from Classic up to the cloud. Of course, if you just say sync, an album, it goes up in the cloud. It takes the album, it takes the name, and it syncs it up in the cloud. So let's see, for example, I bought a promised filter and I have imported those photos into Lightroom Classic. So I have now organized my 2023 Black Promised shoot into 42 pictures. They are synced up to the cloud. The moment I open up Lightroom, the new Lightroom, it syncs up with the cloud. And of course it pulls down the smart previews of those 42 pictures and also the album name. Let's go into Lightroom, the new Lightroom for that. Here we have my 2023 Black Promised album. We see that it's local, it is a smart preview and in the cloud it's also a smart preview. And here we want to have a DNG. How do we get this smart preview of those pictures? turned into the original DNG. It's actually pretty simple. We go back to Lightroom Classic. We mark all the pictures we want to upload into the cloud as raw files. Then we grab those pictures, we pull them down, go on top of the icon of the new Lightroom and then drop them there. So what happens, the import dialog opens and you just say add 42 pictures. If I go now on a picture, it says local original DNG. So now it syncs up those 42 pictures onto the Adobe Cloud. And then you will have the DNGs saved in the cloud. That's all you have to do. I show it to you one more time. I did another shooting for another video about how a rangefinder camera works. Here you can see we have all those scribbled circles that indicates that there is no original backup to the cloud, it's only a smart preview is available. But of course, I know in my classic, I have that shoot and those are all the original files because I imported them here to classic. So I just mark them all and I drag them on the icon. Again, the import window opens and it says here, add to the album range finder. Of course, those pictures are already in there because the smart previews are already in there. So I just add those. And then you see all the scribbled circles are going away. If I check here, 
Now it's 106 items that are uploaded. So I just have to wait until those circles go away and then I have my original files stored in the cloud. One thing about the organization here, if you set the synchronization marker here, it loads up the album to the cloud, but it does not adapt your organization. My catalog is called Flow Archive. If there is a new folder in my archive, it just puts it there. If I want to keep my yearly organization here, I just drag it into the 23 and then it's here, Black Promised. And if I go back to the new Lightroom, I do the same here. This I have to do manually. What sometimes happens is you see I have synced photos 42,760 and I have all photos in my Lightroom Classic are 42,776. So I have 16 pictures that are not synced. So this is a problem how to find those 16 pictures because Lightroom does not have a solution to just display unsynced photos. If there is a possibility to do that, I'm happy if you help me in the comments so I don't have to do my way, which is complicated. It's not so complicated. The way is I just go to all synced photos. I'm going to mark them all. I'm going to set the little flag here because I'm not usually using the flag, so I can do it for those kind of operations. When it's done, I'm going to all photographs. I search for attributes and I only search for the ones without the flag. And those are my 16 pictures that are not saved. So these look like random pictures. I'm going to put them into the to-do folder, which automatically syncs with the cloud. So I just need to go back and turn the flag off in every picture. The problem with this method is the setting of the flags and the removing of the flags is also going to be synced. It's now it's working on 32,000 pictures. It's going to take like five minutes and then it's done. We're not going to wait for that. The other way you could do it, you could do an album with all your photos and then you go into the synced photos folders. You mark all those photos, you go back to your new made folder with all the pictures in it and you just remove the synced ones. I hope I made myself clear. So this is how I do upload my DNGs from Lightroom Classic through Lightroom, the new Lightroom, up to the cloud. And I have all my organization reflected on both applications. Let me know how you do it. I would be very interested if there is another way. I'm always happy if there is an easier way. So let me know in the comments. Let me also know which questions you have regarding Lightroom. Maybe I can do another video. I hope you liked it. Please give me a thumbs up and also consider subscribing so you don't miss the future videos. Thank you for watching. Stay curious. See you in the next video.